Okay, Michael, it's been a pretty tough start to the season. Tough as you expected? Uh, yeah, it's um, you know, the first week uh, injury-wise probably uh, set us back a little bit, but I think we handled that pretty well this week and um, you know, go into this game uh, pretty confident. Bit too close to call, though, that last one, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was. It's uh, a game we probably should have put away in the first half or um, you know, a little bit earlier than we did. So uh, it was disappointing uh, to, to miss a few opportunities to end that game early, but um, to hang in there and, and still have enough resolve to, to come back and win it late was um, you know, a good sign for us. And how are you enjoying playing with Joel? Yeah, it's good. Um, you know, I think he's had a pretty good start to his career here. and um, you know, I think he's pretty happy with, with how he's performing and the club are pretty happy with where he's at. So um, you know, hopefully he can keep improving and um, you know, keep getting over the line for us. Now it's quite obvious that every time he gets the ball he's getting a bit of stick off the opposition fans. How's he handling that and what goes through your mind when it happens? Uh, mate, I don't think he could care less, to be honest. He's, uh, you know, I knew right from when he first signed and people were talking about um, you know, how much he was going to cop that it, you know, it was pretty much going to be water off a duck's back. He, um, you know, most of the time he can't understand what they're saying anyway. Um, you know, he can't even understand what half the blokes in our team are talking about most of the time. So, um, you know, I think he's handling pretty well and you know, it's not going to be an issue for him. And the best way to respond is by scoring tries, isn't it? Yeah, it is, mate. It, um, you know, it's what he's, he's been brought into the team to do is to, to finish those plays off on the, on the, the, the flanks there. And, um, you know, he's doing it well so far and I think um, you know, it's, he's still got a bit of improving to go and um, the club has still said the best for him. A lot of people were impressed with your performance at Hooker at the weekend. You're enjoying the role there, obviously. Yeah, it was um, you know, a better performance than, than the first week and um, you know, I think as a, you know, most teams and most individuals are you know, probably not at their peak this stage of the season and um, you know, the weather and the, and the conditions probably aren't conducive to that. And, um, you know, hopefully, as an individual and as a club, we can you know, build every week and just keep uh, raising our performance every week. Now, we've already talked about how tough it's been so far against Huddersfield and Hull KR. It's not going to get any tougher than Saints away, is it? No, it's not. Um, you know, there's obviously a lot of talk about who do's and, and our record against them. And um, you know, For us, we're just you know, worried about um, you know, playing better than we did last week, I think. Um, you know, to, to get the win this weekend, we're going to have to play uh, considerably better than we did last week. And, um, yeah, but we're, we're ready for that and uh, looking forward to the challenge. You've been here a few years now. Does the hoodoo play on your mind? Uh, not at all, mate. I've, you know, pretty much you know, it doesn't mean anything to me. You know, I think they've, you know, they've just been better at us for 80 minutes every time we've played them. And, um, you know, that's what's made them a great side. I, you know, I don't think you know, they've just got a hoodoo against us. So, you know, the last six or seven years have been pretty good against most teams. So, um, you know, we go into this game as confident as we are every time we play them. We, you know, we expect to win and um, we'll be disappointed if we don't. But you know you'll have to be at the top of your game. Yeah, you always have to be, mate, to, to beat a team like St Helens. It's, it's probably what makes has made them such a good good side over the years. Is um, you know, If you don't play for 80 minutes, you're probably going to lose. So um, you know, we're, we're aware of what we need to do, but it's just a matter of going out and doing it. And um, you know, This week may be it, it may not be, but um, you know, it's not going to make or break our season. The result this weekend. I know some of your teammates are superstitious. Who would you say has got the most bizarre superstition in the team? Uh, I don't know about superstition, but uh, Paul Wood's got a little bit of OCD, which is uh, fairly entertaining before a game. Uh, watching him do his boots up is um, you know, a good 10 minute, 10 minute chuckle before a game, so uh, he's probably the most entertaining. Okay, all right, well, good luck at the weekend, Michael. Thank you. Cheers.